Shout out to my boy, Spirit Springer, not Jerry Springer. Spirit Springer, man, yo, man, big souls, nigga, young Draco, nigga, it's up here, G Hood Frank, nigga. Wow. Gang, gang. Spirit Springer, we take the game. Appreciate you, boy. Ah, Spirit Springer, bitch. Gang shit. Gang shit, y'all know the fuck going on for my ass, bitch. Motherfucking spirit speaker, yes, nigga. Yeah. Now dry ass beef with niggas, that shit's never the you gonna go to jail, nigga. <laughs> yeah. That shit is never the move. Nah. Alright. So, so half pint, everybody gives you credit like you like we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. But who are like the people that you're like, man, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't even be half pint. Who's like the people that you think about that's like this shit was built. Just like they feel like, yo, my my shit is built with you. Yeah, I built my shit with you. My three phases, no, my four phases. One, Mike Fresh. Yeah. I shot my first video with Mike Fresh. If it wasn't for Mike Fresh, I probably wouldn't even be shooting videos. That's that's my bitch yeah. beat a bitch up. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we just he just joined Top Off also. Word. Yeah. Two, Lil Ronnie. Three, Go Yayo. For Yellow Beezy. Word. So Yellow Beezy is the one where it took off. Yellow Beezy took my shit worldwide. Yeah. So explain those phases. So Mike Fresh, that's where it started. Mike Fresh, that's where it started. I shot my first video with him. He was the first nigga I was fucking with. Like, I started shooting this shit for free. All that shit. Yeah. Ronnie was, uh, I started shooting with Ronnie after... After JT died and I joined Top Off, this was 2011. Mm -hmm. After I joined Top Off, I started shooting with Ronnie, and Ronnie started building the buzz and eventually became the hottest nigga in the city type of shit. Yeah. And then 2015, Yayo started blowing up. Mm -hmm. That's when the whole city started blowing up type yeah. shit. Yeah. That's when the wave started, and then Yellow Beezy came and was a nigga that actually popped. Mm -hmm. And actually made it, like actually made it. Yeah. And took my shit worldwide. Did you know that that's on me was gonna be that big? No. Or hell no. You just thought it was just it was, another. Yellow make music like that all the time. Yeah. And it was just another video type shit. Hell like yeah. if we knew that it was gonna be a hit like that, the video would have been way different. Word. We shot that bitch. We shot scenes in the kitchen at his little apartment at the time type shit. Yeah. Like. We didn't know that shit was gonna do that. Damn. And so you just shit blows up and shit like that. But you've had like other effect on this whole scene. Cause like you said, you skipped over the, the Yale shit, bro. That whole time, that whole way, it's kind of what we're seeing right now, bro. Like super emergence of just like a lot of street music in Fort Worth and shit yeah. like that. And shit. Niggas now, niggas can look back and be like, damn. Y'all niggas was like on some like. Chief Keith and uh, like what was them niggas names like D Gaines yeah, and, D -Gaines, and Zay, Zay and yeah. shit like that cause now everybody be on that type of shit mm -hmm. like kitchen kitchen trap videos and yeah. guns and I, would, I say it all the time yeah yo definitely started that shit out here yeah well I can't even say yeah yo started it because the first video that I did like that was actually a Spud video word so Spud was actually doing it first but yeah yo was the one that blew up with the shit yeah yeah. Spud, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, CJ is obviously like established now. Um, shit, did you know did you think did you know that CJ was gonna blow up the way he did? Yeah, hell yeah. Word. After that first song that uh Was it Attack? It was Attack, but the one that was before Attack. The fucking um The solo when he's walking through the street? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. what the fuck was that song called? I'm I'm blanking out, but I know what you're talking about because it's two videos and yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not dirty game, is it? Dirty game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Word. Yeah. Niggas knew. When I heard that motherfucker, I knew. I was like, yeah. Do you got any thoughts on? I I know you watching the shit just like we all watching the shit. All this crazy shit. It's so many different things, but niggas was beefing back then a lot but like now it feels like the whole beef shit's like at all time high and everything's just separated like a motherfucker on fort worth yeah it's definitely separated like a motherfucker especially this last um this recent debacle, <laughs> this <is a> debacle. <laughs> with cj and boo and shit yeah that shit threw me off yeah i don't know but shit i'm not in a inner circle i don't be with them every day so i can't tell you what what went on or what you know what i'm saying yeah i don't know what the fuck went wrong 
Word up. I don't know. That shit weird to me, though. Do you th see, I was talking in the car with bro about the shit. Because I'm just like, at the end of the day, I feel like all this shit is kind of like, it, it's nothing new to Fort Worth, but it's like bad business in that in an aspect because it just makes niggas be more shook to come fuck with niggas out here and shit because they be looking at niggas turning on niggas and do, doing all that shit. That's definitely bad business. It's been bad business from the jump. But yeah, that shit getting worse. That shit not good at all. Yeah. For nobody. <laughs> has, has Half Pint ever had besides this uh this this we don't even know if it's beef so it's Sean Kai shit. Not beef. <laughs> Not beef at all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Has Half Pint ever had any issues as a as a behind the scenes or as a camera guy? Like has anybody ever been like came at Half Pint wrong? No. No shit. No. Never. N not one time. Never. That's what's up. But you've been at places when shit popped off and cause I ain't even gonna get you to elaborate on the shit, but she, that was random in the real life street stars talking about getting shot. Oh yeah, that was some other shit. That I don't know I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time type shit. Like Yeah. I didn't know none of the niggas out there. I was shooting a video for somebody I had never met before. This is before you blew up? Or you no, already? This was, this was around, this was 2016. So this was around the time that everything was, Damn. it just started popping off. And Shit, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Too many niggas out there at the store. I don't know who beefing with who. Yeah. Shit, niggas came through that bitch and lit that bitch up. Shit, nigga, and... Shit, now this nigga half pint done been through it more than some rappers now. <laughs> that nigga really been shot, bro. That's crazy. Shout out to Sperry Springer, motherfucker, and and and, and, and goddamn and yell, motherfucker, yell. <laughs> <laughs>